this is a vlog about heartache, specifically my heartache that I feel constantly. It never goes away. There's nothing I can do to make the heartache go away. The pain is always there. The pain is always constant. I don't know what I can do to make it go away. And um, it's like this eternal pain, this eternal flame of misery. And I'm just lost. I'm completely lost and I, uh, I, I need to do a better job of cleaning my room. I know, it's a mess. But I don't know how to make this heartache go away. I don't see any way out. I don't see any way out for this heartache. It's, it's just permanent. It's stuck there. It hurts so bad. Pain hurts so bad. I'm at my wit's end because I'm so lost. I'm so lost in my pain, my heartache, and I don't know how to start my heart up again after it's failed so many times. After it's like I'm running into the ground over and over again. Like I'm banging my head against the wall. Nobody talks to me on Tinder. Nobody talks to me on Tinder. And it doesn't go anywhere. And I'm just, I'm just so lost. I'm so lost. The man is expected to do all the talking and supposed to pay for the date and supposed to have all the right moves and all the right things to say and I know I have to come up with better things to say I have to become more personable become more better communicating I know it's overwhelming it's just overwhelming and I, I can't stand it I, I can't stand the heartache the pain chest never goes away I hate it I hate the pain it just feels like I'm getting so much older every day just lost in my memories of the past I'm just so lost it, it's like It's just like a, a wall I'm staring at in front of me. I'm just staring at this wall. And I can't go around the wall. I can't go through the wall. I can't. I'm just like staring at this wall in front of me. And there's no way around the wall. It's like, it's just misery. The wall is just misery and I feel like I'm going to have a stroke all the time because I'm paralyzed in fear, paralyzed in, a in action and not able to express the way I feel, not able to express the pain of my distress. And it's, it's just driving me into the ground, I'm just, I'm I feel like everything is ending and uh, I, it's like uh, uh, I don't know how to describe it so I talked to this webcam this computer it talks back to me in the comments it watches me and listens to me So when I say something to this webcam, they're not gonna unmatch with me. This webcam never unmatches with me. This webcam always listens to me. This microphone always listens to me. This is real. Okay, this this whole thing is real. And and 
conversations I've had with people are fleeting. And when I talk to someone, I know it's not going to be a long-term thing. And I know it's probably going to be over in less than two minutes. And I have such a limited amount of time to impress someone before they dismiss me as just another bozo. And I get it. You have to be more than what everyone else is offering. But this webcam and this microphone is the real world. The the, the relationships I have with other people, that's not real. This computer is what's real. This computer is going to break, but at least this computer will last five years before it breaks. I've had friendships that do not last five years. I've had friendships that do not last three months. Uh, you know, I at least this computer will last five years before it breaks. So I can depend more on this computer than I can on most of the 99.9% .9 of the people I've met in my life. This computer is more dependable than, that I'm recording this on is more dependable than 99.9% .9 of the world. I mean, there are, there are people I can depend on, there are people I've met I can depend on that see me as just, you know, a likable person, but I don't know how to make the heartache go away because this YouTube channel is not going to make the heartache go away and Tinder is not going to make my heartache go away and I don't I don't see anybody else asking me out anytime soon and I don't have the fortitude to ask anybody out myself because when I ask somebody out they usually want to be friends with me less moving forward so if I try to push somebody out of the friend zone, then they won't want to be friends anymore. And I'm not interested in that. I'm at a point in my life, I'm not interested in losing friends. Okay, I can't afford to lose any more friends. My Facebook friends have been decreasing steadily over the past five years. Five years, my Facebook friends have been steadily decreasing. And I can't afford to lose more. And I'm not asking them out on dates to to level up our relationship. I don't want to level up any relationships. I want to meet new people. New places. Was that Dixie Chick song? I want wide open spaces. New faces. Because the same people, if I keep talking to the same people, eventually they're going to unfriend me on Facebook. And the the more I interact with the same people over and over again, the less they like me. I need to meet new people. I need, I need wide open spaces. I need new faces. And I need to find that happy place of being able to meet new people in a safe way who aren't disgusted by me. I know I don't look good, but I have something in me that's worth something to someone and I'd like to find out what that is. But this, this heartache is a headache and my whole body hurts. If I eat too much sugar, I feel like I'm going to have a stroke. And I'm just paralyzed in fear and now I'm repeating myself and now I'm starting to think I'm running out of things to say. What if I run out of things to say? What if this is the end for me? What if I've, I've failed in my um, pursuit for life? What if I run out of time? That ticking tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. This alligator with a, uh, uh, a clock in his stomach and the alligator follows me around and I hear him outside right now and I can hear the clock inside his stomach tick tock tick tock tick tock tick tock and if I go downstairs to that alligator he'll 
it'll eat me. The alligator will eat me, you know, and I'll be stuck with that clock for um, for the rest of oblivion. But um, that alligator, you know, he he got a piece of me, but he wants the whole thing. And I know how to satisfy him, but I don't want to go downstairs to the alligator because I have more sights to see. I have more buried treasure to find. I have to sail the seven seas and search for the one that I lost many years ago. And I know what I'm doing wrong in the sense that I'm not exercising enough because if I exercise more, my heartache would go away. If I danced more, my health would improve. If I shadow boxed more, my strength would increase. I know what I could do to in increase my health. I understand. I understand how to increase my health. Dancing, shadow boxing, walking, running, occasional weightlifting, occasional basketball. Will it satisfy me? No. None of that exercise will ultimately satisfy me. I won't get any sort of high from that exercise that will give me the everything that I really need. But it will keep my body in working condition for now. Exercise will keep my body alive. The shadow boxing, the dancing specifically, will keep me alive. And staying alive is all I'm looking to do right now. There's, there was like this whole this like Christian song um, on the radio. They said, you weren't meant to survive. You were meant to thrive. I disagree. I disagree with that statement. You, you, you aren't meant to survive. You were meant to thrive. I am meant to survive. Maybe other people are meant to thrive, but I'm just meant to survive. All I want to do is survive. Honestly. All I want to do is survive. Believe me. All I want to do is survive. I don't want to thrive. I want to exist on this planet for a longer period of time. I don't want my heart to fail. I don't want my existence to cease the blink of an eye. I want, sur I want to survive. That's it. That's it. This heartache is tearing me down. And I have such a low self-opinion and I don't know how to increase my self-opinion. I don't know how to find someone that will give me the affection that I need that my self-opinion and maybe even my social status could increase past this uh, insignificant shrew of a man that I currently am. I'm like a whale washed up on the shore I need someone to push me back into the ocean. Suck in the sands of time. Buried into the temple of darkness. Certain of my demise. And so I wait. I wait for someone to notice me, someone to see some good in me, some, someone to see something in me that's worthwhile, that's worth something, anything at all. A moment of bliss, just need a moment of pure bliss. How do I find such a lofty measure? Well, I have no idea. I'm 
completely in the dark about how to find a moment of bliss, sanctuary from this uh, plain and ordinary world. I have found an ordinary world, but it's not, it still doesn't satisfy me. I like this ordinary world. I, I like this world. It's it's not a bad world. It's just I found part time employment, and that's good. That's better than what I had a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago, I didn't have part time employment. But I'm I live in sin, sin from my pa sin of my past mistakes of doing the wrong thing, living the wrong way. So I sit here and I dream of dreams, a better tomorrow. I dream of Jeannie. I dream of clouds the blue sky and the sun shining on me and the trees opening up and letting me walk through the forest letting me exit the forest in a frivolous fashion I've been to the temple of doom I've been to the Temple of Doom, and I've gotten out. I've gotten out of the Temple of Doom, but I'm still not satisfied. I've been to the Valley of the Shadow of Doubt. Is that the phrase? The Valley of the Shadow of the Doubt? I think that's called something else, but... I've been to the Valley of the Shadow of Doubt. I've been to the Temple of Doom. I've been to the Promised Land. into the fields of gold I'm speechless as to what to say to her what to tell her tell her how I feel should I tell her I love her and she ignores me I don't tell her I love her and she ignores me tell her she means everything to me I don't think there is anything I can tell her because she has to tell me something. I can give her all the affection in the world and it won't mean anything to her. I need someone to give me affection. You understand? I, I need affection to make the heartache go away. I need affection. dream. It's a dream I have and I believe in the power of optimism, the power of realism, the power of surrealism, the power of nihilism. I believe in the power of impressionism. I believe some dreams do come true and I believe in me and you. I just can't wait to be king. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. Could I find that place that I yearn for, that I search for? Such a... It's the wish I made when the lights went out. Such a place could really exist in my dreams fantasy to say something more meaningful something more more say something more good 
Doing something. Bold. Okay, something bold. Progressive. Enthralling. Captivating. Stimulating. Becoming. Awakening. Separating. Synthesizing. Fermenting. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Do you feel heartache? Let me know in the comments below. How does your heart feel right now? Do you feel good or do you feel heartache? How, how do you feel right now in the comments below? Please subscribe to this channel to be part of the community. Please like the video. It really helps out the channel a lot. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.